filling out these cards I got from Hallmark. These are Hallmark's new video greeting cards, which I can't wait to tell you about them because they are so, so unique. I sent one to my sister and she received it last week, so I'll show you her reaction. But these are Hallmark's new video greeting cards. These are two that I have. And if you know me, you know I love sending greeting cards. I keep all of the cards people write for me and I love sending them because it's just a good way to have your memories last forever. I love looking back on cards, so I feel like this is such a great way to show someone you love, you care about them and that you're thinking of them. So what's really cool about these Hallmark video greeting cards is that there is a scan code inside. So when you purchase this card, you just peel this back and there's a scan code behind it. You scan it and then it takes you to Hallmark's website where you can put in a custom video or photo message which is so cute. It helps you stitch together the video with music. So all you have to do is just add the photos and the videos of your choice and it will stitch a really cute video together for your recipient. And when they scan the code, they can see your message and keep it forever. So I thought that was just such a cute idea. I think everyone should get one of these cards this holiday season or just because if you wanna check them out, you can check my description box for the link or you can find these cards at hallmark.com slash video greeting cards or you can find it at a gold crown store near you. Last night when my sister received her card, she called me and in the video I included money in it. She loves money because we grew up with them and yeah, it was just a very nice sentimental thing to give my sister and I knew she loved it. So highly recommend you grab yourself a Hallmark video greeting card this holiday season or just because. I we don't really know how to write Chinese, you know, so you can just, you know, have a message in Chinese. Yeah, that's so nice. Thank you, sis. You're welcome. Happy holidays. <laughs> Anyways, that's it. I have to take the dogs to get groomed today, so I'll see you in a bit. I have one raincoat and one raincoat only. And I wear it probably five times in the year. Oh, I cannot wait for my bangs to grow out. They're at that length where it's just driving me crazy. It's too long to be in the front. It's not long enough to go behind the ears. This is the most uncomfortable stage. didn't have what I was looking for or they didn't have everything I was looking for so I'm at ranch now hopefully I can find the oysters and I picked up one of these Asian soy milk is very different from the soy milk that we're all used to Okay, Whew. this is my least favorite part of grocery day. I hate unloading the groceries. I love kimbap. Amazing. I feel like a little kid that's still living at home. I was really cold and I wanted to put on the heater, but I was like, hey, don't waste energy. Just put on a jacket. Underneath the Christmas light
haven't shown you guys too much of the house but I thought I would quickly show you how the living room is looking as for the couches in the living room these are from the previous house if you remember so I feel like these two couches don't really make sense as far as complementing the house these are gorgeous anyways just that I don't think it matches the house perfectly but it's okay it's not a perfect fit because of the sizing it's still really comfortable and i love these and then over here i did get the samsung frame tv this bench is from lulu in georgia the couches these are from crate and barrel this crate is from fable pets i'm still on the hunt for a vintage coffee table and yeah that's it super cozy kind of messy actually i bought some new stuff that needs to be mounted so i'm just putting this here until our handyman comes over i didn't get any new ornaments this year these are all the old ornaments we've had for years now um i did get this tree that is new this is from target This is the soup base that we're using tonight. This one is from Little Sheep and it's the tomato flavor. They have the original mushroom, tomato, and I think there's like a hot spicy one. If you like tomato, this is a hit. sauce that my friend Jenny taught me how to make. It's basically shallots, green onions, regular soy sauce, and then seasoned soy sauce for seafood, which is zing yu xiao. Yeah. 